Hey guys, welcome back to the fifth and final round here with Just Guy Sahili. Uh, let's take a look at our opener here. We're on the draw. This could be a little slow on the draw, but I think we have a solid. We have spreading seeds. We have remand. Uh, these could all be good cards. Uh, we'll just have to to see what we're up against. And of course, the one time we don't have Bolt in our opener, it's going to be a, a a Bolt deck. Dried Militant. Okay, is this some sort of green-white death and taxes? This may not be a horrible matchup. Um, I think we'll, we want to make sure to use our fetches first. Um, both of these are actually... Uh, um, I think I think Skeleton Karn is the worst, worst fetch right now because we do have another planes in case we need to fetch one up. But yeah, in case uh, of a Leonin Arbiter, we want to make sure to use our fetches early. Now this might not be relevant in the slightest right now, but it's important to uh, keep in mind. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. Yeah, this could this might just be too slow against what we're up against. Um could be Naya Zoo, Naya Company. Oh boy. Revolt Zoo. Yeah, um this is not the kind of hand that beats Revolt Zoo. Although all this stuff happening post combat is pretty good for us. Unless there's like yeah, unless that happens. In which case that's that's eight power on the board. Oh boy. Even Verdict is going to be too slow here, I feel. We're kind of just hoping to get, like, Bolt Snap, like, like the combo, I guess. But even that's too slow. That's still, like, turn five. Um, we could try to cut them off of red. And just try to dig towards... I don't think keeping up Remand and potentially doing nothing is is good. Uh and now we're flooded on remand, so this is this is pretty unfortunate. Alright, we were able to cut them off white. Yep. Alright, so no surge, but literally anger of the gods is the only thing that could possibly save us here. Especially when we don't have any sort of interaction. And of course we don't run anger of the gods. Yep, that's just too slow here. Alright. Revolt Zoo gets it. It gets it. Alright, let's uh let's bring in the hate. Timely reinforcements. Uh dispels a maybe. Step one, we cut all of the remand. Uh I think we cut Vendillion click as well. It's just a bit slow here. I think we want to cut one Sahili. Just because it's not the card we want to be doing, not not what we want to be doing on turn three. We want to go anger of the gods on turn three, um, and hopefully supreme verdict on turn four, if we need to. Um, the question is, are dispels worth it? I mean, they do play cards like bolt, like um, like a Tarkus command. Um, maybe we want to cut two Sahilis, one guardian, and get in. Some dispels, some cheap interaction there. I think so. I think this is a good setup we have here. Uh, yeah. We have Bolt, which is great. Uh, and oddly enough, I think we keep a Bolt here. Because, I mean, they did play Dried Militant, so I'm wondering this could be a budget build. But they do play Goblin Guide. So it's... Preserving our life total is very important here. Experiment one, absolutely killable. All right, path to exile is good. I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, basic uh, planes here because I want to be able to see your visions without uh, messing up my scries. Um, snap is great. Seas might be okay, but um. Especially because they let on basic force, but they have a lot of fetches. I don't like the mana denial plan as much against uh, Revolt Zoo. Especially because we have a bunch of Path Exiles. We're going to give them a bunch of lands right now. Um, no, um, no Anger of the Gods definitely makes me uneasy. 
Especially because they could just flood the board here and deal us a ton of damage. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and path to exile here. Uh, right. Yeah. Because we want to just go ahead and serum visions. Hopefully towards something like a supreme verdict. Um, we don't want... We don't want lands right now. Hold on guys, I'm going to go pause the video real quick here. Alright, I'm back. So it looks like they're f cracking the foothills, which is concerning to me. They have four cards, in, five cards in hand. Yeah, we're, we're tapped out. Uh, uh, Thalia just stopped all of our plans of like snap. Um... If they have it, they have it. You know, that's that's a lot of damage to us if they have it. All right, Bolt. They can still have it. They don't have it. Wow. That is very lucky. That is unlucky, but... Here we can just go... We can go Snap Bolt and um, Block. Go ahead and target uh, Lightning Bolt. We'll go to Blocks first. And we'll Lightning Bolt right over here. If they're Boros, permanence you control gain indestructible uh, instead of 4 damage. Actually, I guess that saves that one, too. So that's pretty good. It's kind of a one-for-one, one in a sense. Um, the question is, do we want to use our Path to Exile here? I think that's fine. Just save dance, save life where we can. And then maybe we can cut them off of white next turn with... Um... It looks like they're out of basics. All right, there is a car alarm outside. I, I do apologize if, uh... Alright, so it looks like we can't cut them off of white, but they are running out of gas here. Ooh, that's a... That's a sup... Excuse me, solid draw. I think that's just what we'll do here. We'll just, we'll just, um, cast it for all its modes, and we can Spreading Seas next turn. So we'll gain four, they sack a creature. Of course if they draw Tarka's command here, that's worst case scenario, but looks like we're in a decent position right now. So it's basically just gonna be what can we top deck here? Alright, so they're drawing lands, which is good, because well, it's not threats. Here, I'll just go ahead and crack the feds. Try to thin the deck as I, uh... Try to cut them off colors, draw some cards. Path to Exile's not bad. Not great, not bad. I think we'll take one hit from the Burning Tree Emissary before we uh, path it. Just in case he wants to do something. Dried Milton. Yeah. Um. Oh, I should have. Uh, I was. And I honestly should have. I'm making a bunch of mistakes here. I apologize, guys. Because um, now the path doesn't go to the graveyard. 
This spell is pretty poor here. So we're not we're not winning the top deck war, let's just say that. We have a lot of good draws though, so Oof. That's that's Healy. I think we'll be forced to use her as a scry and to soak up some damage. Yeah, we definitely don't want to draw that. And hopefully they send both creatures at Sahili. Yep. Sweet. So she just gained us five life, which is not bad. Bolt. Bolt is a good draw. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten cute. Because now if they have Gore Clan Rampager. No, okay. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's also why I shouldn't have gotten cute. Oh, they had the trigger anyways, but. Colonnade is actually a decent draw. It will allow me to block next turn. Of course, that's not the way I want to block. Yeah, this is this is a rough way to lose to Revolt Zoo, a matchup that should be decent post board as long as they don't go nuts. Like an anger of the gods here would be insane. Of course we don't draw that. Instead we will be forced to block a Dryad Militant here with a Colonnade. Or we're just dead. Should we have played that in differently? I mean, uh, Dispel maybe not the right card to bring in a matchup like this. I, I honestly think eight lands is a lot. I think we flooded out here, unfortunately. Right, we block. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, they got us. That's really unfortunate. I do think this is a good matchup, though, uh, especially post-board. Uh, so for you guys watching this at home, I, th I think we just did get unlucky here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's just make sure they attack with everything. I guess there was two damage that we could have saved earlier if we path the Burning Tree Emissary. Yeah, let's, let's draw a card. Timely. Man. I mean, the, the, those are the little things, you know? The little things that are important to catch. So if we had path the Burning Tree Emissary... Um, before damage, we would have had two more life, we would have survived this hit, and we would have been able to timely reinforcements here. Probably uh, been able to... Um, been able to um, uh, stabilize from there. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. This is a kind of a disappointing result. I do think Jeskai Sahili is really good uh, right now, and, and I know that sounds odd after we just went 2-3, but... Um, we'll talk about that in the closing statements if you stick around. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome to the closing statements, and let's talk about Jeskai Sahili and how we did. Um, so as you, if you watched every single one of those games, you'll notice that Modern is incredibly diverse right now. And it's very hard to answer everything that's happening. Um, and one of the problems with any control deck you're going to find in Modern is that some of your uh, answers just don't line up with the threat that you're facing. Um, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's very hard because there's nothing quite as efficient as um, Counterspell or even Swords to Plowshares or anything like that in, um, in Modern. So it's very, it's very difficult to answer everything that your opponent is flinging at you. Uh, but with that said, um, the idea, of course, is to have something proactive. You know, a way to just win the game on the spot. Uh, and that's what Sahili and Feld are, are, are aiming to do. You know, you have the, the elements of a control deck, but the ability to close out the game very quickly. Unlike, as we saw, Blue White Control, who generally had the upper hand most of the game, but it took them a long time to actually close out the game. Um, and that opens up a lot of doors for uh, bad draws and things of that nature. Um, so... 
In my opinion, I think actually the deck performed really well. If you go back and, and look at all those games and and think outside of the end record and think about the actual games, the burn matchup, we almost had it. Um, the Death Shadow matchup was very strong. I forget what we faced round two. Um, you know, the blue-white control, very grindy, um, very draw-dependent. But, you know, and we even could have sequenced our plays a lot better in that matchup, potentially to win game one. Um, so, uh, with that said, um, I, I do think looking at those four matches um, that we played in the beginning, the deck performed excellent. You know, we didn't always win. A lot of matchups are pretty close, 50-50. Uh, maybe advantage to us, advantage to them here and there. Um, and then, of course, Revolt Zoo, the fifth match. Revolt Zoo does what, Re what Revolt Zoo does. Um, it's a very explosive deck, and I think we could have stabilized... Um, First of all, if we'd pass that Burning Tramissary. Uh, of course, we didn't know that they were going to draw timely, and we were kind of playing towards something else. But, but um, you know, uh, I, I think generally I, I designed this sideboard with Revolt Zoo in mind. Uh, Anger of the Gods was uh, an inclusion that I had as a two of, because it does hose fast aggro decks, um, which is why I wasn't too worried about running two. Yeah, it, hit, it hits Dredge, but it also handles those aggro decks that are, that are very difficult to deal with. Um, uh, so it, it's important. That that's the thing. Uh, the entirety of our deck doesn't always line up well against everything that's out there. You saw game one, we had remand spreading seas to their one drop, or two drop, or one drop, two drop, two drop, two drop. You know, so it was uh, it was very difficult. So I, I would if, if you're a fellow just guy Sahili player or you're wondering uh, whether you're gonna be a Sahili player in the future, um, I wouldn't care too much about the results specifically because if you go look in the past, uh, you'll see that I've gotten all all positives uh, records with this deck. 3-2, uh, 4-1, uh, and that's what I get most of the time when I play on Magic Online. It's a 3-2 or a 4-1. Uh, I believe this is either my first or second... Uh, it's it's my second time going negative, uh, and it's always 2-3. Um, so sometimes you get bad luck. So like I said, I love Sahili. Don't focus too much on, on, on the results, uh, but let's talk about what was good and what was bad. Uh, I would never deviate from this setup here. Uh, this is 100%. Uh, I think maybe I would cut a remand, a spreading seize, uh, for two lightning helix, potentially. I honestly, I, I know that we stole game one from Burn, but that happens so rarely. Um, I think with the increase in both collected company decks out there um, and Burn, that we need to have some way to not just lose game one. I think that, that winning game one is close to close to 30-35%. It's, it's pretty low. Um, so maybe adding some, maybe cutting one wall, one seize, one remand, adding three helix also uh, goes well with a burn plan. Uh, maybe put some spell snares in there too. Um, I think there's ways that we could definitely shore up the main board to handle fast aggro. Um, of course you don't always draw your answers, but I think increasing your percentages is important. Um, don't focus too much on where you're already good. Uh, we're not already good against Burn. We're not already good against Revolt Zoo. As weird as that seems, we have Bolt, Snap, Bolt, but uh, that's just not enough. Um, so uh, I'm definitely going to look back um, on to, to, to this result today and try to... Uh, it's, it's, I've been trying to do it for a while, make the Burn match a better pre-board, but it's very difficult to do without diluting the deck too much. Um, so we're, we're, we'll definitely... Um, play around with it a bit more. Uh, mana base was really good. I really liked Spire Buff Canal. I was worried that it was just going to come enter tapped too often, but Spire Buff Canal was excellent uh, in preserving a life total. I'm not sure we need the second planes. I don't know. Uh, it was hard to tell from from that match, uh, but I do like having a lot of basics to fetch up with our nine fetches. Um, or, excuse me, eight fetches. Um, but main board, I, I liked Batter Skull. The ability to have an alt target for Sahili as rarely as it happens, is pretty nice. And the ability to go Feldar, bounce Batter Skull, create a new token, came up. It, oh, right, it was Blue-Red Delver. That's what we played against Match 2. Um, yeah, so it actually came up there. So that's really cool. Um, I, wouldn't, I, I, I don't think I'd mess around with this base here, and I wouldn't mess around this. I think this 2-drop slot, aside from Snapcaster Mage, is where there's room for flexibility and tuning and trying to see what's best for this meta. At the end of the day, like I said, Modern is so diverse. I don't think any deck has over 10% right now. Um, so, you know, it's 
you do your best to answer what you can and be proactive when you can. Um, it's very hard to answer everything. Uh, but with that said, I really, I really, really enjoyed the deck. Uh, we didn't get to see how Leyline was. Um, I'm not sure it, it's worth the two slots, but you know, I could just it could just require more testing. You know, it was my first time playing with it. It's five matches. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, Timely Blessed Alliance, very good, very good cards. Uh, Anger is good. Elspeth is good. I think these hate cards are necessary, including this spell. Uh, so I think there's like these two flex spots that we have here in our sideboard that uh, I I'm not sure what um, they would be good against. But like I said, modern is so diverse. You know, it's really it's really tough. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh, I wanted to um um before I forget, um I was thinking about doing a five a best of five series. Um, maybe not best of five, but five games of two decks versus each other. So I would get one of my um very good you know friends in my play group um who, who we test together uh, and. We could jam like five games, uh, you know, like two pre-board, three post-board games sort of thing. Um, and I, I don't know if I was going to do blue decks or borrow a deck or something like that, but if that's something that sounds interesting to you and if you have <clears throat> a specific deck or a specific matchup in mind that you think you'd be really interested in seeing, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I, would, I would love to try to bring you some, some new and interesting content aside from the regular old five... Uh, Five league uh, match, or, or five match league. <laughs> All right, so thank you again so much for watching. I'm really happy. We're at you know, 300 something subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys are what make this all so worth it. Um, let me know if you like the deck. If you like where Sahili is going. If you're sick of Sahili, I think I uh, you know, if you want to go back to see Grixis Delver or. Grixis Shadow, or, you know, I think Grixis Shadow just won a Star City Games Open, so it's it's still a very strong and live deck, so if you guys want to see more of that, um, yeah, let me know. I will, I will try to get you the decks that you like to see, and I'll always be brewing, brewing in the background if I, if I come up with a list that I want to share with you guys. I would be very, very happy to do it. Um, so thanks again for watching, guys, uh, and stay tuned uh, for hopefully in the next you know, a week or so I'll have uh, another series up. All right, see you soon.